Indeed, in order to win the war, we gotta know who our enemy is. And when we know who the enemy is, we come up with the right battle strategy. Amen. That ensures us victory. That ensures us that we execute the battle plan in the most effective way. Now, the same applies in our daily lives, friends. When we know who the enemy is and how he operates, we can then effectively put God's plan in place for us and even know how to combat what the devil is trying to do against our families, our businesses, and even in our personal lives. Amen. And Paul ending the, this epistle and letter to the Ephesian church, he says in the final chapter, in verse 10 of chapter 6, he says, A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And how do we do that? Is that we put on the full armor of God so that we be able to stand firm in all that we do. Amen. But friends, we, it goes on to say in that same verse 11, after putting on the armor to stand firm, against all the strategies of the devil. Amen. But we must understand who the enemy is and how he operates. Our enemy is not our fellow brothers and sisters. Ephesians 6.12 clearly states, For we wrestle, that's right, wrestle. We just don't interact. We wrestling with people, uh, with the enemy rather. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Now that's who our enemy is, not human beings. It's everything that I've mentioned in Ephesians 6.12. And therefore, Paul writes in the very next verse, he starts off with verse 13 saying, Therefore, Put on the complete armor of God. That's the strategy. Knowing firstly who your enemy is and how he operates, then we got to put on the full, complete armor of God so that we will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the day of danger. And having done everything that the crisis demands, so we stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, and victorious. Look what the outcome is. Fully prepared, immovable, and victorious. Don't we all want to be in that position? Yes, that's the goal of every battle, of every army, is to win that battle in that way, victorious. Hallelujah. So today, friends, I implore you by God's mercy, just don't nilly-willy start fighting. You'll expand your energy. That's what the devil wants you to do. Become battle-weary and have no energy to face who the real enemy is. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Indeed, our battle, Father, and our and who we wrestle with you have clearly stated in your word so today father we recognize who the enemy is we take on that strategy but we can only do it with your help and father we know that the holy spirit is with us and you have given us the power according to luke 10 19 to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and your word declares that nothing will in any way hurt or harm us so today dad help us to always recognize to put on that full armor of god so that we will be able to stand firm stand our ground face the enemy and in that armor father you have never given us protection for our back because we are 
are never meant to turn around and flee. If anything, the enemy must be on the back foot. He must turn around and flee from us because that's the God we serve. That's the God that's inside of us. We are full of power in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord, to face our battles. I pray that. I speak it over all those that are listening today because there are many battles that we're facing. We become battle weary. Father, give us that strength now, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remember, friends, an effective battle strategy is knowing who your enemy is. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.